We got another dramatic USPSA meeting and big happenings. Uh, well, technically, this is the second half of the meeting that they did on Monday, but whatever. Um, I'll give you the cliff notes real quick, then we'll go back through it. Uh, Frank is back on the board. A7, he's back, baby. Uh, Mel Wardero, Area 4 Director, he resigned during the meeting. Uh, the, the Sherwin coming back to be area three director, him swinging his way back onto the board. That's been put on pause, uh, while the organization is going to seek a legal opinion about the legality of removing, uh, Scott from the board under Delaware law. Now they have a pretty good, they, they have a track record of getting the opinions that they want. <laughs> so I'm not super hopeful, but, um, it is, it is the Sher Sherwin taking back, getting back on the board. Uh, is uh, paused. Now, uh, let's go back through the clip notes and talk about it. So Frank is back on the board. That's pretty big news. What the hell happened there? Uh, ben Barry, and it looked like uh, in collusion with Frank a little bit, which is good. <laughs> like ben Barry worked the, uh, the, the Roberts rules and the, the bylaws and was just like, hey, you know, this and this and this, we got to talk about this. And they Talked about like the, the convoluted timeline of Frank's membership. I mean, the, the 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 issue being discussed, I mean, this was a pretext to remove Frank, obviously, but uh, what they were talking about was Frank having a continuous membership for three years uh, before taking office. And and they, they spent a long time discussing the timeline of all these memberships. And, and Frank was on the call just saying like, yeah, I mean, I bought an annual membership. It should be good for a year. Like the timeline you're giving doesn't make any sense. Like it was super convoluted. But um, basically being being sticklers for rules is very good because uh, it, it, that's Ben Barry. And um, they got they got Frank back on the board. Um, Mel Rodero abstained from voting during that. And there were, like his demeanor during the meeting, like he was not looking like he was having a good time. Uh, right after Frank got back on the board, uh, Mel uh, stopped and he like, oh, I got an announcement and and he resigned, which which was awesome. It was to me, it looked like just like the amount of pressure laid down on the area for director. I mean, this dude has been getting the emails, the memes, the all that stuff. In addition, he got kicked out of the area for Facebook group. Like he's area four director and they're like, no, you're out. I think he was getting banned from ranges or matches as well. Like this dude was just getting hammered and he did not like it. Uh, so he quit. I don't blame him. He never should have been there. I'm glad he quit. Um, he was just there to sort of like strut around and be a big shot. He didn't really think that there would be any like that anybody would complain about anything he did. You know, that's not why he was there. Um then there was, like like I said, the, the Sherwin getting back on the board is paused. There was a, a long discussion about uh, the legality of removing Scott in the first place. Uh, you know, and that was, again, driven by Ben Barry and Frank. And, you know, great. The, the big takeaways from a lot of people watching this live stream meeting was like, oh, wow, Frank and Ben, like, these guys are great. Like, Ben's a stickler for the rules and Ben's super smart and and wow, Frank's great, and he's the only guy that like really understands Robert's rules of order, like how how to how to run this meeting. Um, Yeeman voted the right way in a couple things in the end, but he's he's definitely what you call the hard carry. At one point, when they were like voting to get Frank back on the board, Yeeman's sitting there like sweating, and he's like thinking about it. And you're like, come on, Yeeman, come on, buddy, you can do it. You know the right way to vote. And there's a little pause, and then he voted the right way because I mean I think Yeeman knew. It's just like, yeah, they're going to, like, if they get away too, they'll kick me off. And it's like, yeah, they're going to, they would do that anyway, buddy. Uh, watching the managing director, Donna, like, that was, uh, <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> like, the, the speculation was that she's drunk. Honestly, I hope she was drunk. Because if she's not drunk, something's wrong. Like, she has a brain tumor or something. Like, something is wrong <laughs> if she's not drunk. I truly, I hope she was. Like, I got no hate on people that are drunk. I, I wanted to drink watching the meeting. I got I don't have much of a problem with that, but it did interfere with her, you know, doing her doing her job a little bit. Uh, at one point, she needed to count to six, and uh, she could not do that, so that was a problem. Uh, anyway, uh, very interesting meeting. What's going to happen now? 
Well, all you howler monkeys out there going full steam potato on the board, it is working. All right, the Area 4 director broke because of the emails, because of the online banter, because you guys are firing off the meme cannons. Be, be, the, not the meme, well, the meme cannons. Um, all of this stuff, This, this, they don't like this stuff. They really, they'll, they'll tell you, like, oh, you don't get that many emails. Like, people don't care about this. They just want to shoot. It's like, <laughs> whatever, man. Like, uh, this, this kind of, like, what people are doing now is seriously fucking these guys up. And it is awesome. You can see the demeanor in Russell Fortney. You can see the demeanor shift in Layton. Like, <laughs> they are just not liking it. One other thing that's having a big, big effect here is the meetings being live streamed. I remember asking, I mean, I've ask Hopkins about this or Scott or Frank. You just, you can ask him about this directly. He's like, hey, in your time on the board, like, do you think how long if the, the meetings were live streamed and people could just watch, how long would it be before they just hated the board? Before they understood, you know, why you're doing what you're doing and they hated the board. And these guys all are like, oh, instantly, like instantaneously, people watch one meeting and they're going to see what's going on here. And that's precisely what happened. Uh, like last night we, uh, uh, Bill Godbold was Twitch streaming the meeting and there was, I don't know, a, a bunch of people in the chat were watching this. They're all geeked up watching this happen. And, you know, Bill being a lawyer and, and knowing Robert's rules is like talking about the meeting and giving commentary while it's going. And he's just like, oh my God, like Frank's actually the only guy here that knows how to even run this meeting. Like it was, it was amazing. And then watching their faces, it's, it's pretty funny. A lot of you guys got kind of black pilled. You're saying, hey, like there's no saving this, there's no fixing this. I don't know about that. In the last few few uh, days and weeks, dozens of clubs are disaffiliating their matches, trying to withhold money, sponsorships being pulled, Da Vinci Machining pulled last night from USPSA, Outdoor Dynamics as well. Um, Shit, I got a call yesterday in the middle of SHOT Show from a very influential industry guy. <laughs> like, like, not an internet troll, like, a, a, like, influential in the industry. Uh, he doesn't follow this stuff specifically. He knows enough about USPSA to know he really doesn't like the way it's run. Um, we had a great conversation. He's like, Ben, I, like, people are asking me about this. Should I support USPSA? My company's asking me. I got this meeting with Yemen I got to walk into, like... I don't know what to do with this. And I, you know, I gave him the rundown. He's like, and I was like, this is a big deal. You got a lot of clubs are protesting here. Um, but, <laughs> and he's like, the guy, he, he really doesn't like his Troy because he's interacted with Troy. So of course he doesn't like him. And uh, what swung in my direction is like, hey, let me tell you about this sex stuff with Troy. That's why they keep, <laughs> they kept him around. And he's like, huh, what? And I was like, yeah, he's like, that sounds, it's crazy, but it does make sense when you think like, yep. And then it's like, boom, he's on board. I mean, and that's happening with a bunch of people. Like a bunch of people are geeked up right now and they are, and <laughs> they're, uh, let's say they're making their voices heard. All you guys sending emails, withholding money, making the memes. And and some of you guys, like there's like, like lawyers and accountants out there that send the board members like smart stuff that is useful and helpful, like sending them like a 200 IQ play to use on the board. All of this stuff is working. All of this stuff is working. The guys on the board now that are useful, like you can tell they're putting in the work. I, like, I don't know how much time Ben Barry spent reading like Robert's Rules of Order and like all this legal code and stuff like that, reading the bylaws, but it's clearly a lot. And he is a stickler for the rules. He's definitely a stickler and it is working. So the, going full throttle right now is working. Frank being back on the board, that I wouldn't change much in my opinion. Um, I think you still got to go full steam potato to run these guys out um, because it's clear from if you're watching, it's clear from the demeanors. That's like they still don't want Frank there. They still want to get rid of him. Um, anyway. Oh, yeah. Even better. Like uh, now with the Area 4 director gone, there's one guy I know. He's he's be great for uh, Area 4 director, I think. And he hit me up. I said, hey, I'm running. I'm like, awesome, dude. This thing can be fixed. This thing can be fixed. Don't give up, guys. Uh, they made a big mistake in the last week, the Legacy Board. Uh, they crossed the Rubicon, in a sense, uh, uh, going after Frank so overtly right after they went after Scott. And even the smoothest of the smooth brain, smooth brain member, they can see what's going on here. Like, there's 
big time shenanigans happening on the board. Um, we got to keep up the pressure. We got to keep going full force. And eventually they're going to crack and we'll win. It's as simple as that. I don't know how they're going to crack, but it's probably going to go down just like it did with Mel, where they're just like, you know what? I'm tapping out and they just go away. Seriously. I mean, if they keep live streaming the meetings, the dude's like, Bruce one won't want to be back. He'll be like, oh man, I don't, they, they, these guys hate getting clowned. So it's like, they just don't want it. They're not going to want it. So keep it up guys. It is working.